Well, the story, in a sense, is the story of fustian, a type of cloth for which this town became very well known. And uh, the original company that uh, developed Nuttoff Mill was started by five fustian cutters. So perhaps I'd better explain what that is. A fustian is a very dense cloth with, with a very dense weft, which is, as part of the manufacturing process, laid out across a table and cut in originally by hand, where they just cut the top half of the weft so that the fibres stand up like a brush. So you finish up with a kind of velvet cloth. Velvet is an example of fustian. Corduroy is an example of fustian. Very arduous job, very skilful job, because it had a very sharp knife with a sharp point at the end of it, which had to be inserted in the cloth with the sharp side of the blade upwards. So you just cut the fibres that were looped over on the top half of the cloth. If you went right through and cut the bottom, well, you'd just ruin the whole piece of cloth. And so... Um, Risky job. If you made your money by doing it properly, and if you were not careful, you lost a lot of money. Fustian cutters would collect a bolt of cloth from a factory where it had been woven and carry it on their shoulders across town to their fustian cutting workshop, put it onto a special bench, pull it across the bench, hold it tight with one knee, and then just do stroke after stroke after stroke with the knife. Uh, and then pull the next yard of cloth forward and do that stroke after stroke after stroke. Very monotonous work. A lot of them had deformed hips after a short time, period of time with standing with one leg on the table and one leg on the ground. And then when they'd done it, they got to uh, roll it all up again, carry it back across town to the place where it was going to be dyed and finished. So quite arduous jobs. Six people got together, six fustian cutters got together and decided that really they were tired of working on piece rates for money. They were paid so much per piece of cloth. And work was uncertain, life was uncertain, and they wanted to get more security over their own, their own lives. And so they decided that they'd like to set up their own business, but a cooperative business where they all shared equally in the business, they worked together, they held a share of the business, and they shared what profits came out of it. It wasn't a get-rich-quick system, but it was security of work and income they were looking for. They saved up threepence a week from their wages. This had been going on for some time, when one of them, carrying his bolt of cloth from one factory to another, had a heart attack, collapsed and died. And the other five thought, well, now is the time. We've been thinking about doing this, we'd better do it. And they set up this small company, which made a profit of about five pounds in its first six months. But they gradually built up cash, built up cash, until they needed bigger premises and they could take on more people. And that's where Nutcliffe Mill comes into the picture. They bought the Nutcliffe Mill in 1873 as a fairly new mill built in 1870, but a much, much smaller mill than the present day building. As we restored the present-day building much, much later, we've kept the outline of the original building on the façade through the different types of window planes. The original mill had small square windows and we've kept those small square windows still visible on the front of the mill so it's easy to see which is the original part and which were the later extensions by this very, very successful company, the Hebden Bridge Fustian Manufacturing Society Limited, that grew out of that initial enterprise. <laughs>